This is that Mizuna. Zinc. Nash. Hello, my loves. I'm Paul. I'm Jason. Together we are those vegan guys. Uh, today is Friday, the 10th of June, 2022. It is indeed. Uh, and this is vlog number 66. Wowzers. Yes. Of our allotment adventures. Um, and the story unfolds. The story continues to unfold. We've just had a little try of a Mizuna leaf, a salad leaf we've never tried growing before. Um, Very nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't yeah. it? Uh, we're going to do some weeding on uh, Salad Street today, and I think actually plant a few more lines of stuff because the very first courgette that I put in there, which is the yellow courgette, looked like it was doing fine. It's dead. It's gone. Killed off. That's just really strange. Withered up. Um, so I might try planting a couple more yellow courgette seeds, it might be a bit late in the season now, but I might try some in the greenhouse. Some of the stuff that we did in the greenhouse last week uh, has started to come through, bits haven't. It's a funny season because we just haven't had a huge amount of sun yet. No, not a huge amount, um, although there is significant progress with Berry Boulevard and uh, strawberries coming through now, so yes. I think we're probably going to get at least a handful of strawberries today. Um, loads of footage um, from Tuesday evening, I think we came down and watered, was it? Loads of footage from the trail cam uh, of the fat birds, <laughs> um, and we're going to kind of set that up again today and maybe try and put it at a different angle or a different location. Uh, and also, of course, um, a little bit of footage of the lovely Puss from oh, Tuesday also. Oh yes, Tuesday night when we came down to Wales, Puss was here. We've not seen him for ages. Lovely to see him. Uh, in fact, let's go into the Puss footage right now. Going, where are you going? Hmm? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Can we have a look at you, Puss? It's been such a long time. Let people see you. Hello. Have you had a trim? Somebody pulled all your bits out, all your dreads. You feel a mighty fine, good sir. You feel a mighty fine, good sir. Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you still got some dreads near your bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel them. He's a bonny boy. What a fancy pants. He's a beautiful bonny boy, that one. Okay, let's have a little look around and do a bit of watering. Do you want to help us water? Hmm? Want to help us water? No. No, lazy bones. Bye then. Oh, isn't he cute though? <laughs> like a little lion. I'd love Isis to meet him. I know. They'd hate each other. Well, 
she'd hate him because she hates all cats except Alfred. Uh, right, should we get to it, good sir? Yeah, we'll show you stuff as we always do, um, but uh, first and foremost, a bit of weeding. that there's actually still loads of room in here. Yeah, staggering. Staggered planting. Excellent. Got room for some more squashes in there, but they're, uh, they're still in the greenhouse's seedlings. I don't want to put them out yet. Uh-huh. But we can put some more lettuce and stuff. Yeah. For sure. Nice one, Babs. no sugar and I, I didn't want to pick him up and take him to a, a flower so I just brought him a little buttercup and he seems to be having a right good munch he or she white bee bumblebee white bum bumblebee there we go baby there we go that's better isn't it is that better Come on, Polly. Do you think? <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
woman in China with a gun like me. Really got me like me. I don't know what that is. Yeah, you're right. The cops are clear now. I'm just going to randomly sprinkle a few random lettuce leaves in this gap uh -huh. where there's a gap and just see if we can fill the gap. Whilst we're here as well and Paul's doing that, see our little white pole here that we use. Word of caution, when you put the canes in sometimes they do snap. Uh, and ours have snapped, so I'm going to have pulled out the bits that I could. I'll put some new cane in, get it fixed up before we leave today. Um, and maybe in that gap there, Jason. Do you see that gap there? Do you see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to just like randomly pop some there as well. To just make a little bit of yeah, yeah, yeah. space. Oh, do you want to... I don't know how many. Yeah. Did you want to do a row here, Paul? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, it's just figuring out what, Jason. Mixed spicy leaves. Mixed spicy leaves. Yeah, should we do that? Yeah. Right, can you see where I've stopped? Yeah. Yeah, we know this is all lettuce and leaves up here, so we don't need to put individual labels on. No. We've got vlogs to remember anyway. Row three, spicy salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, simple enough, isn't it? Excellent. I'm just gonna fill those gaps with more spinach. <laughs> we missed one. We probably missed a few, to be fair. Yeah, look. Oh, put that out, Jesse. Yeah. That there. Tiny little scarab. There you go, spinach. There we go. <laughs> right. In this row here. Yeah, and. That one over there, near you. Yeah, cool. You do that. Use them all. <clears throat> Actually, that's done. Yeah. yeah. How's this that? We'll just whack the rest of these in there. Quite a few in there already, but they don't always all take, do they? No. There we go. Right, and then <coughs> we want to fill the gaps between all these Swiss chard here. Yeah, yeah, one in hand here, a couple in hand. Come with you. Another, another two there, babes. Thank you. Oh, just shove one in the middle there.
suppose the, the good thing with this stuff is, as we discovered last year and as we can see right here, it doesn't need a lot of space, does it? No. It really doesn't need a lot of space. Right, I think that, that'll do for now, won't it? Because I think I need to leave some room at the bottom there. Oh, hi. Hi. I need to leave some room at the bottom there because I've got some cucumbers and stuff growing, but they're not big enough to come out yet. We need some space to transplant, don't we? Yeah, to transplant some more salad-related items out, but we've hopefully, we've just filled the gaps. Did we do here, Jason? Yes. Yeah, hopefully we've filled the gaps and um, we can cover this back up now give it a good water before we go we just need to fix that pole on the end yeah 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 yeah, yeah. what do you need just a couple more sticks yeah Not as many as I thought. No, because no, quite a few of them have already been munched on by critters. Oh, yeah. I'll leave them because it might be a distraction from the others. They might come back and eat a bit more. And these, there's a few here, but they're just not ripe yet. Well, there'll soon be plenty to go at. Oh, it's break time now, my loves, and uh, once again, thanks to the lovely Flanny, Deb and Andy, for stocking our larder again here at the allotment. So we're having spicy, smoky, dreamy mac from the Wicked Range. We left this for seven minutes and it's still slightly underdone, but I don't mind it with this. To no. be honest, I like the chew. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I think it's just plainly and simply that the water that we boil here and the way that we boil it is just not the same as a proper kettle at home. It's still boiling. Yeah, but I don't I don't think it keeps the heat as long or it just maybe it's not as hot, the water's not as hot, I don't know. That's my theory anyway. Welcome to the world of Jason's brain. I've navigated it for 25 years nearly. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, you've just um, busted that top corner there, haven't you? Yeah, I, well, I just noticed there was a load of nails and massive weeds around the Christmas tree in the top corner. We didn't even, you've just seen the shots of the cones, hopefully, on the tree. I just spotted it, I was like, oh, wow, so lovely. But the base was covered in nettles, so my arms are stung to buggery. Um, but nettles just won't live, I didn't, I didn't mean to hurt them. Mm. So I don't blame them firing back. As you've seen, we've filled the gaps in Salad Street, the places where this stuff didn't grow. We've whacked a few more seeds in. Yeah. See what happens there. Um, unfortunately, the yellow courgette there didn't survive, but I've got some other um, gourd type things, maybe to go in there in a couple of weeks. It might rain. Possibly. Possibly. Um, but I'm very pleased with Salad Street so far, to be honest. I just hope those gaps fill. Yeah, now. yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But we said we were going to do some stagger planting and we've done that, so it will be interesting to see. It will. As we're kind of pulling and using salad leaves, the idea is, you know, a month, two months after we've got some new stuff coming through and we kind of, it extends our growing season a little bit, which is nice. Oh, I wish we had a knife down here. A knife? Yeah. Why? Because I've chopped one of these onions and put some shreds in here. Yeah, we've only got a plastic knife. And We're going to take some of these onions home soon anyway, because they're nearly ready. They need to kind of hang like that, dry yeah. for a bit. Didn't get quite as many strawberries as I thought we were going to get, but uh, there are plenty that just need some good sunshine, and then we need to get to them before the birds get to them. Mm -hmm. As if the birds haven't already got their fill with the... Uh, Fat birds! With the seeds. Um, yeah, anyway. So, we'll get this et and then we'll crack on, eh? Mm. We'll do a bit more. Yeah. See you soon. It really was um, an awful lot of weeding. We've only shown you a fraction of it. We've been down here quite a while now. Uh, the wind's not let up, but it stayed dry and we've yes. had intermittent sunshine. Um, so have water, just in case it doesn't rain later. I don't think it is going to rain later, to be fair. Well, I'll check the forecast. Then we've done a good thing by water now because yes. we planted new seeds anyway, so yeah. kind of add to water. As you've seen, we've put this cam... Uh, well, you've seen uh, the seed planting. Um, we've, I've put the camera back slightly, adjusted the position slightly, uh, and just had a, had a tinker with the settings. So we'll s remember to set that off before we leave the plot. I'm reminding myself. Yes. Um, yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? It has. Um, so we shall be back down on Sunday, and if we do this right, that is... Oh my goodness! It's 
Kiss Magic. Kiss Magically appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Look, it's Angara from Angara's Life. Hey. Now, and Garage's channel is always linked below in the description, in the friends, right at the bottom. But I'm going to link her up there as well. Uh, she is a wonderful advocate for veganism yes. on uh, YouTube. One of our youngest and most passionate vegans. Yes. And I want you to support her. Indeed. So you've been up for another hospital visit, haven't you? Yeah. And we decided, you know, it would be rude, wouldn't it? It would be rude. And Garad coming to Manchester and us not meeting up. Yes. So we're having a picnic here at Plot 25. I've saved one of these uh, fuchsia uprights for uh, Ang Harad to plant. Nice. And uh, let's get on with the day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've come down today to mow our paths, uh, but the, um, the, uh, what are they called? The mower? The fuel? No, the people. Oh, the committee? The committee members responsible for getting the petrol haven't got the petrol for the brand new lawnmower, so nobody can use it. Uh, which is really frustrating because it's a very simple job to get petrol. So instead, we're going to repot some tomatoes, our biggest ones, in bigger pots, and we're going to um, put some soil, some more soil up over our potatoes. So it's a nightshade kind of day, kind of nightshade. Do you like a little nightshade dance? I do. Good. <laughs> oh, it's all kicking off. She's huge. Yeah. Right. Let us begin. Uh, should we put it in there first so we can... Like we did last time. Up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, this needs a new stick, Jay. Yeah. A taller one, I think. Oh, we need a big hook, a big clip. There we go. There, she's going to be much happier in there now. Yeah, thank you. Right, I'll take her in here. Oh, Jay, uh -huh. put that in that one. Morning. 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 Jack, yeah. I wanted to ask you, when did you plant your kale? In the greenhouse first? Oh, yeah, in the greenhouse first. Right. February, March. February, March, okay. Yeah. You're right, so see, I'm learning from you because I didn't know I could plant it that early in the greenhouse. And you don't have a heat to do in your green. Brilliant, thank you. I'll remember that for next year. Yeah, yeah.
doing more mounding up on our potatoes uh, just so we get more yield off them I mean you're supposed to do this anyway we've got <laughs> um, squeaky bean applewood smoked ham style sandwiches we've got torf egg mayo sandwiches whipped up last night plant chef sausage rolls plant chef porkless pies it would be rude not to have something yellow stickered so the squeaky bean is yellow stickered uh, which what uh, and there's the proof look there's the other packet uh, Memphis barbecue style. They're stunning if you've never had them. Plant Chef coleslaw, rainbow plates and serviettes, apple and mango juice. Jobs are good. Eh? Oh, crisps! Just in case anybody wants crisps. These are quite nice actually, lightly salted lentil curls from Tesco. We've probably got Clearly more than vegan. we need, but better than to have too much. Than not enough, isn't it? Definitely. Indeed, good sir. Is that why? Paul, get that song out your head for goodness <laughs> sake. No, it's fine. It's an earworm for sure. This is a musical I was in when I was at college. We did the North West England premiere of Stephen Schwartz, Children of Eden. Beautiful musical, beautiful. I played Adam and, Adam and Noah. Um, and there's a, a line that Kane sang to me by my friend Matt. Uh, and in my head, the line is, is that what it means to be a father? Crushing the spirit of your children like an egg. Can't have been that. <laughs> I'm sure it won't that. Is, is this going to blow away? Probably. Didn't mention that, did you? No, no. Let's put it down in there so it's got some wind barrier. Fresh mizuna. It's plain, it's plain old salad leaf, but it's yeah, nice. It's Is that okay there? Should I put that there? Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. Nice one. There we go. That's a picnic. That's yeah, they're good, aren't they? Really good. Yes. Not one to start yet. Yeah.
it's funny, you know, because they're very friendly with each other when it's full. Yeah. And as soon as it gets really low, they start picking each other up. Yeah. Yeah. They really do, don't they? Yeah, they're rude. <laughs> I think they just get a bit, uh, they get a bit competitive, don't they, towards the, uh, Yeah. I'm having a strawberry then. Dessert time. Yeah, I want to. I want to pick the best one for Ankara. The one that's the ripest. I think it's that one. Ankara, do you want a strawberry? Yeah. Whoever it is, it's important. They leave a message. And everyone else can. I'll have a little one. Yeah, I'll have this little one here. Strawberries <laughs> from our very own strawberry patch. That's our dessert today. Oh, they're really good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a sweet. Too sick. That's good. That's okay. They're okay. Is that yours, Babs? Ah, uh, yes. That's mine. Mm. Nice. Nice so little bonus that we actually had a few strawberries. Yeah, so that's twisted right round there. Yeah. That's natural. It does that all on its own. No help from us. Maybe. Isn't it, though? Yeah. And then here, this is our. And Jason said, there, "There's our sign right there that needs covering yeah. up." So we've covered it up. So we've got sweet corn and peas in there. Wow. But they're gonna need the sun to really yeah. kind of come out. And then this, kick there, and then we'll walk to the end of it. So I'll show you how big it is. That is about three feet wide, and goodness knows how long that is. Yeah. But that's all salad. So we've got lettuce, radish, spinach, uh, rainbow chard, mizuna that we just had on sandwiches, rocket. Absolutely full of blueberries. Um, oh, what's this one, Jason? Oh, is this black currant? I think that's black currant. Yeah, black that, yeah. And again, just a few. Yeah. Just We're sideways shuffling here. <laughs> <laughs> that was the coolest dance we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> this. Let's come down close of them. And then just behind you here, rhubarb. Yep. Massive. It always grows really, really big. Cabbages, sprouts, uh, kale, cauliflower, all of that. Um, this is our onion bed. Uh, so you've got those three onions to take home. We just put them out here and we'll see a lot of And then on your left there, it's the one grow. That's a blue hubbard squash plant. So we've got two blue hubbards, one butternut. Uh, and then down at the bottom there we've got three courgette plants and then this one here is root road so we've got potatoes again parsnips three rows of carrots and three rows of beetroots and that's it plot 25 <laughs> and now I'm afraid you're going to get your hands dirty <laughs> Here's the plant. So we're just whacking it in there. We'll the press down. I'm just going to add some more soil for you around the edges. So we've got, we've got some underneath, and then we we'll put some on top as well. It feeds it. So just press that down with the fingers around the edges. You feel that? Yeah, that's one. See, then we can say Angara planted this one. <laughs> <laughs> of course. There you go, just a good one. That'll be the only one that survives Angarad. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yay! Nice! Just a good one. Yay! <laughs> oh, so as soon as that blooms now, I'll be like, oh, me and Garrett can't planted that one. Watch it, it will be the old one. <laughs> Oh, hello my loves. <laughs>
Well, we've had a lovely afternoon here at Plot 25. We've had a lovely picnic. Yep. Given Angar had a guided tour, so she could feel everything. Yeah. Did uh, you shuffle dance? Did I was <laughs> an amazing little shuffle yeah. dance. I reckon we we'll keep that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep that in for next time. Definitely. <laughs> it's um, been delightful. It hasn't has it? been delightful. Yeah. And there are more vlogs coming, more collaborations, mm -hmm. because this very evening. We're going to be Rev uh, in Manchester, so there'll be two vlogs for that and all. So please make sure I've linked and garage channel before. Go and give her a, su a subscribe and see all of these vlogs from do two different perspectives. Yes. Because it'd be rude not to. Lots done today, as you've seen, we've shown you as much as we could. Thankfully less weeding today. Yeah. Just to focus on mounding up the spuds, watering. Bit of TLC with our tomatoes. Yeah, repotting a few tomatoes, but mainly it's been about eating <laughs> and having lovely company. Stuffing us faces <laughs> with delightful company. That's been the main thing. And occasional sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, right, that's it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please also watch Ang Harad's vlog. Um, and we'll see you again soon. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Bye, loves! Nice. Group hug, group hug. Group hug. Yay! Oh, mm. oh, oh it's nice and warm. Should we just stay here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bye, you two. Bye.